Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a tutorial on how to get rid of that white line that sometimes shows up on various images in Canva. I guess it's not always white, it just depends on what color your background is, but it's that extra space where if you put two graphics together, it just does not work. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So let me duplicate this, move it over, and then you'll see right next to it, there's this just line. And obviously that doesn't look very good. You can definitely see a line here. If it printed, people would probably definitely be annoyed at that. So this is the line that I am talking about. So if you find an image like this where you want to use it combined, but you're really struggling because it has this extra space here that is in the way of your picture, I'm going to show you a way where you can fix it. Now, this may not come out perfectly, but it's definitely helpful and I've used it before. So I recommend changing your background to a different color other than white. It just makes it easier to see. So that's why I have a brownish background here. So first, you need to figure out where the extra space is coming from. So is it coming from the left side, the right side, etc. So how to do that is I zoom in and I highlight over it and it'll show a purple outline of the image that you're on. So if you look closely, to the left of the purple outline, I can see some of that brown background. So that means that it's not part of this picture. Now, if I do it to the left one, you can see that the brown outline is to the inside. Now, this is really hard to see and very little, so you may have to zoom in even more. Let me zoom in a bit more. Hopefully, you can see this line even better now. It's right here. So see how the purple is just along the edge, and then over here, the purple is on that same edge, but I'm on the other picture. So that means that the brown is coming in. So let me zoom out a little bit. So one way to fix this is, well, at least this is the way that I normally do it, is to double click. So let me go back out and do that again. Double click on whichever image or graphic you want to. And then see these little lines here, this little arrow? This is where you can kind of crop it. So you just want to crop it enough where you're covering that area. So I don't want to crop it that much. Like that'd be way too much. And I just want to crop it like right there, just enough to get rid of the, the little extra line, move it over so it lines up. And now the line is just about gone. And if I zoom out, it looks a ton better. So obviously this needs a little bit more of work. So let me just redo it. Hit control Z to redo it. Oh, I got to zoom or scroll down a bit here. So let me just move this back over. All right. Let me just undo all of that. There we go. And let's try it one more time because I think that I just did a little bit too much. So we'll go there. Let's see if that works. That's a bit better. So this is definitely not perfect and sometimes it takes me quite a while to kind of get it just right. But you can see the line is a lot less apparent now. And if I zoom in, you can definitely still see it, but Honestly, like if you get it really close when it prints, it's not usually very visible, but this isn't going to work for all of them. And I would want to work on this a bit more to make sure that it actually um, lined up a bit better. Although I think this is pretty good. It may just need some small adjustments, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. And if you go too far, I just want to show you what that would be like. Going too far would just mess it up so see like this box like does not look right at all but there is no line so let me just fast forward to that again see how there's no line but the box just looks really messed up here so that's kind of what i'm talking about you'd have to spend a little bit of time with this but if you like really want to use something and you're just struggling then this is definitely something that can help so there we go i adjusted again and look at that. There's no longer a line there. And I think it actually looks pretty good. So it took me a few minutes, a few tries to do it. But now we have no extra space. And um, there might be a tiny little line you can see. But I think that's just the separation of the pictures, not actually something it would print. But obviously use your own judgment on this one. And I hope this was helpful. I know it can be really frustrating when you have a great background or a graphic and you want to use it. But then it has that little extra space and you don't really know what to do about it. So I really hope that this was helpful and useful. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment below. Or if you have another way that you solve this issue, I would also love to know that as well. You could potentially remove the background of it depending on the image. I haven't 
really tried that, but that may be an option, so something worth trying. And you know what? Let's just try it right now while I'm on this video, so that way you know if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to just delete this one. Move this one over because I just wanted to reset it. So let me move this over here. Okay, so now we have that line there and I'm going to remove the background and let's see what it does. Or actually, nope, I can't remove the background on this one. So that kind of made sense how there, there isn't actually really a background. So never mind, we're not going to try it. But if you have one that you can remove the background on, maybe give that a try. I guess it depends which one you have. But if not, I've been using the first original method that I've shown you for a while that I showed in this video. And it definitely has worked out pretty well for me. Sometimes I have a really hard time lining up and it just isn't possible for some of them for me or I just don't have the patience to do it. Sometimes it takes me a lot longer. This one thankfully only took about like two or three minutes total if I was just working on the line. So I hope this was helpful and I really appreciate all the support. If you found any value in this video, please, please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. It really, truly helps the channel, which in turn helps me. And then it just helps me bring out more content for you guys. So thank you so much for watching and listening. And I hope that you have a great day.